are back on Morning Drive. And just seeing images warms my soul because it is the home of golf. There is nothing like a pilgrimage to St. Andrews. It's not just playing the seven golf courses. It's experiencing walking the streets and walking through the university there and just taking it all in. And if you've never done it, if you love the game of golf, you owe it to yourself. And I'm very pleased to be joined by Ewan Loudon, who is the CEO of the San Andrews Lynx Trust. Good morning. Good morning, Gary. Nice Lovely to, to have you here. here. Thank you so much. Well, we're very thrilled. Let's, let's start with this, this announcement that you have entered into an agreement with us, Golf Channel, to be your media partner going forward. Why is this a good deal for you all? I think it's a fantastic opportunity. There's no doubt that we are privileged to look after what must be the most uh, famous and most renowned golf complex in, in the world. And there's a big historical narrative behind that. There's a massive amount of authenticity. And so teaming with NBC gives us the opportunity to use your platforms, your creative energies to project that uh, um, history uh, and that tradition to uh, a global audience uh, of golfers in a way that simply hasn't been possible for us to do before. Well, you know this, for those who've never been there, it's mythical. For those who have gone, it's mystical. But you did a market evaluation of, of what was going on. You have seven golf courses, so many focus on the old naturally. So what did that evaluation tell you? Well, I think we realized that there are obviously people who really understand what that journey involves and what it's going to be. And then there are a lot of people that you could make the assumption that they understand what it's going to involve and what it's going to be, but they don't. And so the opportunity, perhaps through some of the work that we'll do together over the next decade, to educate and to introduce, to demystify some of those opportunities will be a really great thing. We also, of course, learned that although everybody wants to come and play the old course, having six golf courses, some of which are championship standard and some of which are not, appeals to a range of golfers with different health uh, situations and different uh, abilities in golf. And it's very good to be able to place them on the right sort of golf course. Well, you, you mentioned the seven that you have. How do you, how do you market those other golf courses. Everybody wants to walk over the Swilkin Bridge. We, we know that. How do you market differently the six other golf courses to get the requisite amount of play? Because they're wonderful. Yeah. Well, we're very lucky. It's, it's, it's a blessed place. It's very popular. And the supply and demand of the old course is, I'm afraid, out of kilter. So uh, the bit of unsatisfied demand needs to go somewhere. But introducing people to the new course, you know, of all places, uh, a, a misappropriate name because it was built in 1895. You know, we are uh, channeling people towards the new and the Jubilee and the Eden, all of which are over 100 years old and all of which are a fantastic test of golf. In a succinct amount of time, now you have control over all the commercial tee times on the old course. For those folks who want to play it, are there practical steps that you can impart upon them now so if they're planning a trip for a year from now or two years from now, they understand what is the best way to go about getting sure. a tea time? I mean, I, I think it's quite a complicated thing. You know, you would expect St. Andrews to be that. But I think if people remember that there are three ways of doing this, a long way in advance, get in touch with a tour operator or put your name down for an advanced reservation a year ahead, turn up and put your name in the ballot a couple of days before you want to play, or perhaps the most exciting is turn up on the day you drive into town early in the morning and put your name on the singles list with the starter because it is remarkable how many people get onto the singles list and get their game of golf, perhaps not having expected to do so. Well, on my 50th birthday, I walked over that bridge, and this black watch plaid yep. was just for you. We are thrilled uh, to be in partners with you, and we look forward to the years ahead. It's great to see you. Great to have you here. Thank you so much, Gary.